Let's get yeah. the read on all this from Texas Congressman Jody Arrington. Uh, Congressman, as I look at the map, I don't see Texas there. Would you advise the governor of Texas to likewise withdraw from this plus up from the feds? Absolutely. I'd advise every governor uh, to not put a big barrier to economic recovery and a barrier to small businesses, not just in West Texas, but around the country. Uh, Eight million jobs. That's the most we've ever had in terms of job openings. And almost half of small businesses can't hire everybody back. They can't serve their customers. They, in some cases, they can't make a living. They have to close shops. So uh, we warned the Democrats when they pushed this through on a complete completely partisan basis that this will be a disincentive to economic recovery. It will be a barrier and a rational decision for these folks to not go back to work because they're making more on unemployment. Well, it certainly seems that that's what's happening, but the White House is stubbornly refusing to admit that there's any connection there. I'm just, you know, it's it's difficult for a politician to come out and reverse something that he said, said I was wrong about that. We got to try something else. Uh, do you think they're going to find a way of backing out of this? Or are they just going to let the states one by one uh, withdraw from the program? I think the states are going to choose one by one. You, you heard the, uh, the numbers and that they're all run by Republicans, but it's basic economics. But I'm not surprised, David, because the White House hasn't owned the responsibility for cause and effect. Uh, with the border crisis. Uh, they're not owning the gas prices going up because yeah. of the broken energy policies that are hostile to oil and gas, which is our base load. Uh, they're not owning the inflationary uh, effects of overspending. So, no, I, I'm not surprised, but I, I think that rational uh, leaders in these states are going to make the decision uh, mm. so they can get back to uh, on their feet well, and do a full recovery. You talked about gas prices and, and gas shortages now in the, in the East Coast. Uh, you, of course, are a big carbon energy state, Texas is, uh, has a lot of power there. It used to be the major uh, source of income for, for the people there. Uh, is, is there concern? I know the president says there are going to be enough j green jobs to replace and even pay better than carbon energy jobs. Does anybody in Texas believe that? No, of course they don't. Um, and uh, we know in Texas that, um, that a safe, affordable, and abundant supply of fossil fuels is what gives us an economic advantage. It's what made us the, the land of opportunity and also gives us that energy independence which uh, provides an enhanced national security uh, posture. So uh, we, we're doing it cleaner and safer than any country. The demand for fossil fuels will not go down. So if Americans aren't producing it, we're going to import it from Russia and OPEC nations, uh, other places around the world that, that do not do it as safe and as environmentally friendly. We lead the world in carbon reduction because of innovation, not regulation. So uh, it's a blessing that we have this natural resource. It is, it is reliable, unlike renewable. We're for all the above. Uh, but uh, the, this administration has, has, has taken an all-out assault approach on fossil fuels. And it's, again, uh, adding to the layers of burden and cost to our country yeah. and a big, big drag on our economic recovery. Congressman, uh, we mentioned jobs, energy. You just uh, uh, talked about briefly the border. I know it's, it's a great concern to everybody in Texas, all the border states. Uh, we had uh, HHS Secretary Mayorkas talking in front of the Senate yesterday. He got some pretty strong pushback from a couple of Republican senators. Let me just play that tape and get your reaction. Yeah. Roll tape. I know you're in a state of denial, but let, let's go back to my chart here. This is President Biden's inauguration. Here's the surge. There's the surge, and it is undeniable, and yet you are denying it. What I find astonish, astonishing, Mr. Chairman, is that we have the secretary responsible for securing our border and our immigration system who doesn't recognize these charts as being a problem. And there are human beings behind these numbers. And it is not saying, hey, we've got to make some changes immediately. I, oh. I, find, that, I find that extraordinary and, and extremely damning. 
I apologize. I said DHS. Of course, it's H. That's I said HHS. That's DHS, Department of Homeland Security, my orcas. But he came out with with numbers that just didn't fit the facts. And when when he was shown that graph that shows this enormous spike in the number of illegal immigrants coming across the border, uh, he had no response. Again. This administration seems so fixed on these theories and these policies that are unrelated to what's happening on the ground. I'm just wondering when they're going to wake up to that. Well, I think you, you, uh, you made the right call by not calling it Homeland Security because it's nothing of the sort. They're not securing our homeland. Uh, they're not protecting our sovereignty. They're not prioritizing our citizens' safety and public health. Um, and the folks in the, I can tell you this, the folks at the border and communities along the border in states like Texas feel abandoned by their federal government and they feel like it's a constitutional crisis because the first and most important job of the president and their government is to protect them, is to provide for a common defense and to faithfully execute the laws of the land, secure the border, enforce the laws. It's not difficult, but not only are they not doing that, they're rewarding uh, the behavior, the illegal behavior of folks coming into this country uninvited and undercutting the folks who are trying to respect the process in our yeah. laws. So it's a pretty pathetic situation. And I agree with, uh, with Senator Romney. It's damning to this administration and uh, their priorities. Well, we, we have to run, uh, but just in 10 seconds, when you hear Secretary yep. Mayorkas say that the borders are closed, despite all the evidence, uh, what do you think to yourself? I think that he has the worst case of, of suspended reality that, that I have ever seen, if that's what he truly believes, or he's being disingenuous with the American people. Congressman Arrington, thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it.